Hey everybody, it's me, Boy Doki. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's audio. Just a quick pre-programming note slash life update before we get started. I am moving by the time this audio goes up. I should be uh, in my new place, unpacking my office and getting situated with my new surroundings. So these next few intros slash videos being uploaded slash Patreon audios being uploaded right now are all kind of pre-gamed so I can keep giving you guys content while I'm absent, quote unquote. And in all honesty, it'll kind of be like I never disappeared in the first place, but <laughs> that's the glory of YouTube and pre-uploading and scheduling uploads. It's it's kind of great. But anyway, if you guys want access to early content, uh, then maybe consider becoming a supporter over on Patreon. If you guys want to be like these lovely people floating across the screen, all you got to do is click the link down below uh, and donate if you want. And uh, if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine too. Your views, your likes, your comments are all that I really need. And it's the support is fantastic. Um, and then one last thing before I go, we hit 25k. Hooray! That is uh, an amazing milestone, and I am extremely happy. So thank you guys for getting me there. And here's to 25k more when we hit 50, and maybe 75, and maybe 100,000. Who knows where we'll go? Uh, but yeah, thank you guys, and I will see you guys when I am settled in. And I love you. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye. <laughs> hey. No, I'm really glad you could meet me. Uh, sorry, I'm late, actually. How are you? Well, that's good. Uh, did you get your coffee? It's nice and hot, yes? Good. You look great, by the way. Um, did you bring a nice jacket, like I asked? Something that'll keep you nice and warm for the night? Uh, well, it's still a surprise, but, um... I know I should have asked this before, but, um, are you afraid of heights at all? Uh, only slightly. But, <laughs> yeah, falling is not great. But I, I have good news. Y you won't fall, and, um, I want tonight to be extra special. I think you're extra special, so I wanted to do something that I've... Never really done before. Um, how do you feel about a picnic, but more vertical? Actually, don't think about that too much. Um, I figured maybe we'd take a walk around the city. Uh, I don't want to scare you too much and ruin your hair with flying to our destination. So, I figured... Walking a couple blocks would, I don't know, help get us to know each other a lot better and not scare you away as fast. And, well, if if my proposal for this date is giving you second guesses, then uh, maybe getting to know the personality behind the hero would be a little bit better. Yeah? <laughs> Good. Uh, so, are you ready? So I'll be pretty honest with you, I'm actually not very good with small talk, so if my questions seem a little bit forward, uh, uh, I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm just genuinely curious about people, and I like to get to know them. Friends and, you know, dates. I'm not saying that I go on very many, but <laughs> I I do like to get to know people. You know, not really on a surface level. Genuinely and honestly getting to know someone. Um, so, I guess heavy-handed question, what are your aspirations in life? Where do you, where do you see yourself going? <laughs> I know it's heavy-handed, but like I said, I'm very interested in getting to know you. Of course I don't think that's boring. Uh, listen. I may be the number two, but... 
the hero life isn't as fun as some people make it sound. Sometimes it's closer akin to politics, and it's real exhausting sometimes. I mean, <laughs> my dreams are to live in a world one day where heroes have more time on their hands. <laughs> it sounds like I want everybody to be lazy, but it's more, I wish the world was a little peaceful, you know? I wish people would be a little bit nicer to each other, would recognize that people are in pain, and sometimes saying hello is the most heroic thing you can do. We walk by hundreds of people every day, and we never know what each other's thinking, you know? Unless you're a telepath, then you know what everybody's thinking, but I wouldn't want to live that life either. <laughs> But you never know, you know? Like, that guy over there, we don't know what he's going through, and he could be really miserable, even though he's smiling. Or that girl over there, you know, she's waiting for the bus, but, you know, she could have a big family waiting for her when she gets home. But we don't know that. It's just something that we assume, and... You know, anything could happen. And we heroes, we try to save everybody, but... Well, we learn the hard way that you really can't. So I'm praying she makes it home safely. Or if there does happen to be a villain attack, I hope someone's nearby. <laughs> yes, I do hate to say that if it did happen now, I would jump in. <laughs> Date or not, I do have a duty to do. I, I don't mean that you're second, but like I said, if you were in that situation, I'd want someone to save you. You're miraculous, and <laughs> I want you to make it home. <laughs> Why'd I become a hero? I mean, you know, didn't have the best home life and I definitely had the best people to look up to. I know most people say All Might, but my favorite hero's Endeavor, actually. I know lately he's been, well, a little bit stinky in the news, but I've gotten to know him personally. He's not the worst guy ever. Has a lot to learn about being a father, but as a hero... He was very dedicated. Anyway, <laughs> we don't have to talk about the sad stuff anymore. Um, so, anyway, I did prepare dinner myself. I'm, I'm not the best cook at all, so I really do hope that you like it. And, <laughs> well, I hope that you like flying just a little bit. I promise not to go too fast, uh, <laughs> but the view up there is, is pretty great. And I don't I never really get to share it with anybody. So I'm hoping I could share it with you. Okay. So what I need you to do now is really, really put your feet together. You could put them on top of mine if you're really nervous. Uh, clench a little bit, but not too hard. You don't want to hurt yourself. Uh, and hold on to my waist, okay? I promise that I got you, and I, I won't let you fall. If you're nervous, don't look down. In fact, it might be easier if you close your eyes. And if you do, well, I'll tell you when to open them, okay? Okay. Ready? Wrap your arms tight. <laughs> Feet clenched. Knees bent. Perfect. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Open your eyes now. <laughs> this is my view 
almost every day. I I love it. This is honestly the best part of being a hero. Seeing the city at night is the most beautiful thing in the world. <laughs> and enjoying it not sitting next to a crying baby or looking at it through the window seat is pretty amazing too. <laughs> it's wonderful up here. My favorite part is definitely the lights. Coming from each office building, <laughs> the traffic down below, which I am glad that I get to avoid most of the time. Everything twinkles. And it's also just signs of life. Warmth. <laughs> now, I promise that our date isn't in the sky. It's actually on the rooftop over here. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't want you to get nauseous. All right. And we're down. You could let go. I could tell you've been getting a little uncomfortable. You almost broke my ribs up there. <laughs> Are you okay? First time flyer, huh? Well, if you don't want to, we don't have to do this all the time. But if you want a second date and you want to do this again, let me know. I know it's a little cliche for the fly guy to find solitude in the sky, but truthfully, they're not kidding. I can be alone up here. No one will take weird pictures of me walking down the street. And if I want to be alone, I definitely can be alone. It's, you know, I don't own the sky, but it feels like my space, you know? And, well, like Clark Kent showing Lois Lane the Fortress of Solitude, this is kind of like my Fortress of Solitude. And, I don't know. I'd really like it if you could be my Lois Lane. <laughs> I know it sounds super cheesy, but I don't know. I give you that kind of guy sometimes. I hope you'll get used to that. Anyway, I did promise dinner, and I told you I'm a terrible cook, so... I ordered pizza. I hope you don't mind. Uh, nothing better than looking over the city with someone special and a nice slice of pizza. <laughs>